Bright House Sports Network's Rock Riley. Rocky, you're the only one I know who's actually spoken uh, to Jeff, and I know that uh, we've gotten to know them through the years, and, and this has got to be horrible for him. Oh, this was one of the toughest conversations I ever had. I mean, Lacey has won many fights, but this is a battle that he cannot win. Jeff actually reached out to me and said I was the only one in the media he wanted to talk to. Now, I've interviewed him many times in his rise in the boxing world, and I can tell you this, he is devastated. He was out of town the entire time. What bothers him most that he can't be here right now. Jeff is a father himself. He is so upset that so many family members have been struck by this tragedy. And as far as his brother, Jeff did try to call him when his brother was up in that attic. We spoke throughout the night, phone calls and texts, and he didn't want to be recorded. His attorneys didn't want him to say the wrong thing. But through email, I asked him several questions. He answered every one. Here is one of those questions. I asked Jeff, it's been reported, your brother Hydra had a phone and was texting. Did you get a text from him? If not, did you try to get through to him on the phone or by text that day? Jeff said, quote, yes, my brother did have a phone. He did not try to reach me. I did try reaching him, but because of the time difference, I was unable to reach him. Gosh. And uh, it's, you know what, he is now a father. Yeah. And the first thing that he said to me on the phone now was, those kids are not going to have a father talking about one of the slain officers. You know, this is tough for him because we mentioned yesterday when we knew it was Jeff's brother. You know, we, no one wants his guilt by association. And I know that that family has worked very hard in that area and Jeff's got to really be, that, that probably bothers him as much too, doesn't it? One of the things that he told me was the thing that really is eating away at him is that his blood, his brother is the one that caused all of this. And he also said to me, Ali said, you know, people in St. Pete that are affected by this, they want an answer. And he says, I don't have an answer. And he was crying when I was talking to him. Yeah, and I know he wants to be a part of healing, if that's even possible. But this is so delicate. No, this is something he can't win, and he's just, uh, he, feels, he feels devastated. Boy, I'll tell you, that's rough. Rock, thank you so much.